Welcome back here with us on Urban Debate on Mirror Now. Who is going to be India's next president? That's our top focus and to help us understand what is going to be the strategy of the opposition uh, parties because today was the first meeting of at least 17 parties of the opposition in the national capital to help us understand uh, what's going on as far as the opposition is concerned. We have with us Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi, Member of Parliament, Rajya Sabha from Shiv Sena. Ma'am, thank you very much for joining us here on Urban Debate on Mirror Now this evening. The first question that I want to ask you is, who is going to be opposition's candidate for the post of president? Could you, ma'am, unmute, unmute yourself? Okay, we will quickly try and fix that particular issue and then we will begin this interview with Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi. But today was an important day. At least 17 political parties attended the opposition meeting called by Mamta Banerjee, West Bengal Chief Minister, TMC leader in the national capital. Opposition parties post the meeting agreed to field a joint candidate for the upcoming presidential elections that will be held on 18th of July. Uh, Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi is back with us. Uh, apologies for that technical glitch. Uh, so I was asking you, who is going to be the opposition's candidate for the post of president? Uh, Hina, that is something that you will get to know soon, uh, sooner rather than later. Unlike the Bharti Janta Party, which will not reveal who their presidential candidate is till the perhaps the last minute, last moment. As far as we are concerned, uh, everybody was of the consensus that we need to have a joint opposition candidate. There were 17 political parties that came together with that belief that in the 75th, 75th year of India's independence, we need to keep fighting for its democratic values and its constitutional values. And that is a fight worth fighting for. We are seeing how extended agencies uh, are, uh, you know, working under the uh, influence of the central government. We are seeing how by, uh, norms are being bypass, bypassed, how constitutional morality is missing, and how democratic principles die a, a death every single day. So those are things that we uh, have kept in mind. We could have personal differences. We could be coming from other political parties. Uh, we could be having our own turf fights. But we do uh, understand that the, the cause for uh, uh, this particular uh, election is much la uh, higher and our responsibility is much larger. And duty towards our nation's uh, democratic principles and constitution is equally important. Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi, as you are also mentioning, 17 political parties attended this first meeting of the opposition today that was called by West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, but eventually couldn't find any consensus. Parties like TRS, BJD and Aam Aadmi Party skipped the meeting. Most of these political parties had one reason, the Congress party's presence in this particular meeting. Does it expose cracks in the opposition? Is the opposition actually united on this particular issue? Uh, actually, all like-minded parties which are opposing the Bharatiya Janata Party, whether they were part of the meeting or not part of the meeting, would definitely be in agreement with the idea of having a candidate who fights for India's constitution and demo democracy. Today, perhaps Maharashtra is seeing the onslaught of how central agencies are being misused. We are seeing that in Tamil Nadu, we are seeing that in uh, West Bengal, and we are seeing this in various state governments which are uh, not aligned with the BJP. And the same uh, is true of West, whether it's TRS, whether it's YSRCP or Amadmi Party. We are all fighting the same common battle. So whether they were part of the meeting or not, I'm sure they would be in agreement with a, a candidate who, is, uh, who finds consensus with 17 political parties and beyond. Okay. After Mr. Sharad Pawar refused to contest, we're hearing names of uh, Mr. Farooq Abdullah, Gopal Krishna Gandhi. Is the opposition on the same page? Were there discussions around these names? Uh, I don't know where you're getting these names from and where, who the sources are as far as this is concerned. What the resolution says is what was discussed 
what was agreed upon and what has been shared with the media with regards to a consensus on a particular name everybody was in agreement every single political party was in agreement that shall pawar ji would make a great candidate uh, as a president he comes with experience he comes with an understanding he has worked uh, extensively uh, for many many years in the service of the nation that he would make a good presidential candidate but he has obviously uh, expressed his uh, unwillingness to be able to uh, give up the current responsibilities he holds to contest for the president so we would look at other names and those other names would be arrived at once uh, every political party gives their suggestions and we uh, you know we we zero down to a name which is uh, in agreement for all so no other names were discussed in the first meeting today apart from mr sharad pawar's name so we were hoping that he would rethink his decision and uh, uh, we thought that as soon as he finally takes this call we call call for another meeting and there would be uh, we would move forward towards understanding who else we can have as uh, a candidate who uh, many all political parties are in agreement with so uh, that is something that we have left for later first step was always to bring everybody on board b to agree on having a joint opposition candidate and c the name of the candidate uh, is a, and like everybody is on a consensus that it has to be someone who has experience exposure and comes with that responsibility of uh, ensuring that democracy and constitutional Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi, do you think Mr. Sharad Pawar has refused to contest, maybe because the numbers aren't on your side? No, no, I totally disagree. He's not some one of those who will fight against, uh, who would would run away from a, a a fight. We've seen that in Maharashtra. We've seen how, despite all norms being bypassed, we saw how an early morning uh, swearing-in ceremony took place. We saw how the presidential nod also was uh, taken, or how the governor's role was breached. yet he took on this battle head on so it definitely has nothing to do with him fearing numbers etc because i'm very certain lots of those in the bharatiya janata party would also follow their conscience call if he was to become a, a presidential candidate and stand by someone who comes with that kind of experience and that kind of an aura and that kind of leadership Okay, and we also are getting to know that Defence Minister Rajnath Singh reached out to several opposition parties today. Uh, with the kind of response we have got after the opposition's meeting, is the door now completely shut for a dialogue with the government, or there is still some scope to support government's candidate? no a dialogue is extremely possible dialogue is what democracy is about but the bharatiya janata party needs to share with us who they have in mind before they seek a consensus from the opposition rather than asking the putting the onus on the opposition to take this call so uh, like you were asking me these questions who the candidate would be i'd be happy if bharatiya janata party one of their spokesperson comes and says this with confidence that uh, the candidate whoever the candidate is is not someone who's hand picked because he could be used to bypass constitutional norms and democracy and does not become a rubber stamp uh, at the raisina uh, raisina hills so these are things that um, would would unravel in the due course but uh, dialogue consensus is something that democracy stays alive on uh, though bjp might be crushing it but uh, that's how it works we will work towards uh, engaging with the uh, government Okay, Mr. Chaturvedi, we are getting to know that the government is planning to propose the name of a woman as its candidate for the post of president. As a woman MP, would you like to support? I would want to definitely want to understand if uh, the woman MP is not just being used picked because of her gender, but more because of the uh, work she has done uh, or extensive work she has done towards building the nation, towards understanding. Um, like I said, I, and I continue to repeat myself that how we are a very diverse nation, and the the most unique part about India is its diversity. has led to its unity someone who continues to maintain that ethos that we believe in and continues to maintain the constitutional uh, principles of this nation and how soon can we expect opposition to come out with a name uh, is there any specific timeline that you have in mind because not many days are left Yeah so uh, the 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 decision also was that there will be a continuous uh, engagement and uh, meetings on this 
particular issue and we will ensure that we come with a uh, befitting candidate for a tough fight that we might have or we are hoping that Bharatiya Janata Party, once the name is announced, Bharatiya Janata Party also agrees that uh, this is the person we should have as a president. We are hoping that they'd be large-hearted enough to agree that uh, the candidate that we pick happens to be someone who keeps the nation above all else. And uh, Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi, since uh, the government we know has numbers, is it more of a symbolic fight than by the opposition? The fight is not just for winning the election. The fight is to keep the spirit of democracy alive, to ensure that every single decision taken by the government also has an equally strong opposition candidate who's, uh, uh, you know, who's someone who can fit into the uh, constitutional responsibilities of the president and the chair of the president. So it is about uh, the spirit of the fight rather than fighting spirit only for victory. Okay, so we'll now look forward to who the name of the can uh, of the opposition's candidate uh, will be. Uh, Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi, thank you very much for speaking with us here on Mirror Now. Uh, of course, it was a very, very important meeting of the opposition parties today. As she mentioned, 17 like-minded parties had their first meeting and they are still banking on Mr. Sharad Pawar, NCP Supremo, to probably change his mind, have a rethink. Uh, but of course, if he does not agree, then definitely there's going to be another name that the opposition is likely uh, to come out with very, very soon because very little time is now left for the presidential elections. Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi, thank you for joining us here on Urban Debate on Mirror Now this evening. Always a pleasure to speak with you. And with this, it's a wrap. Thank you very much for staying with us here on Urban Debate on Mirror Now. Heading into another